Thanks for watching this short tutorial on headers. Uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comments. This is part of the Elementor Beginner Series, and it's a short video on the header element. Let's go over to our site. If we go to the uh, dashboard, if you go to Appearance Customize, before we do headers, I wanted to show you this theme, Astra, has typography where you would set your header font and Elementor will pull that font from here. It also pulls the body font from here. So if your theme is like this, you go to uh, typography, base typography. So you would pick that if you have a specific font that you wanted to use every time you make a new header. Anyway, I'm going to make a new page. I'm going to call it header and I'm just going to disable the title and I'm going to make it kind of full width. These are the theme settings again, the Astra theme settings. Astra was created by the same people that made Elementor, so it works well together. Now I'm going to edit with Elementor and I have a blank page. I'm going to create a new header. To do that, select whatever, however many columns you want. I'm going to select one column. And here's an empty uh, section. You can drag the header into there and get your header that way. Option two is to just drag the header right into this empty section and that does the same thing. Now I'm going to create a, I'm going to add a template from these free templates. And I'm going to insert it into my page just so we have a little bit more to, uh, to go on. If you want to delete a header, you just right click, delete. If you want to duplicate, now I'm going to erase this section. If you want to duplicate a header, right click, duplicate. To move a header, that won't move it. It'll just select the text. You kind of got to go over here to this little icon and then drag it. You see it's labeled heading, so you know you're dragging the header. Now I'm going to put it down here, right about there. All right, so to change the text, you just click it. Obviously, you can change it over here in the settings. To add a link to your header, the easy one easy way is to preview your site and then go to the page that you want to link to. Copy and now go back and paste it into the link. This means that this will appear as a link. The entire header can be clicked to take you to that page. Not just one or two words, but the entire thing. The size is default. You can change that. The HTML tag, you need you need a at least well you need one H1 at the top of your page. And since I disabled it in the settings before I came into Elementor, I'm going to select this tag up here. All right, so now I need to label that an H1. So your page should flow like an outline. H1 at the top, H2 for any subheadings, H3 for the less important headings. You'll see this one right here is an H3. This one here is an H3. So they use subheadings below the main heading of the page. Okay, and then here's the alignment. Other settings are under style. You can change the text color. And then to get the picker to go away, click the color again. Typography. This is where you manually change the font if you want to change it from the default text shadow and blend mode. Blend mode is a neat way to blend your header. So if I have a nice big header here, header 
info. Now I'm going to make that larger. And now I'm going to use that blend mode. You'll see it blends with the photo behind it. It's kind of a nice effect. So that's really handy too. If you want to do more things with your header, you can go to the Advanced tab. And you can give it a background itself. So not only can the sections have backgrounds, but the widgets themselves can have a background. So if you have a little bit more of a complex layout going on, and you want to put in, you know, one of these colors. It'll still have that blend mode on there, you see, because it's not the same color as the blue, because it's blending with the background. But um, that's one of the op one of the advanced options for uh, headers. And you can give it a border and do some other things as well. If you want to space out your header in the section, um, you can use all of the padding and all of the advanced margins and stuff, but you can also just drag spacers into your, uh, into your section. And that's one way beginners can really space out their stuff easier if they want to lay it out differently than it is in the template. So we have uh, pretty much covered the uh, the basics of the header. I'm gonna go into like making header uh, blocks uh, for another tutorial once we do images. So I just wanted to show kind of what the uh, general what the general settings were. Oh and when you click this one you'll see this header is actually written in lowercase so they they opted to go to typography and transform that into uppercase so you can do that in one of these settings and you can also do all lowercase all capitalize uh, normal so that's another option as well I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you want a full tutorial on making an entire site head over to stepbystepwp.com and that's where I post my full tutorials on uh, making an entire website instead of just these sections. You get the step-by-steps of those where you can do the entire uh, site in one day. Thanks.